Hey, hello, welcome back to the Unbox Asylums, Green Human Creatures. I'm John Warlock, and today we have something to unbox. Obviously, we do. That's what we do here. We unbox, we react, and we review. If you enjoy what you say, please feel to subscribe and like. You'll find links and discounts to all the boxes and anything else featured in here down below in the description. Today's box is for anime and manga lovers. And it's one we haven't had for a while because there's been shipping delays because it comes from Hong Kong. But I do like this box. So here we go. Today's box is Lutaku. If you've seen before, Lutaku is quite an amazing box. He gets some superb things in there. But if you don't know, let me tell you all about Lutaku. Lutaku is a monthly mystery box from Hong Kong. It is $44.99. Inside this box, you usually find a statue or figure of some kind. You usually find a t-shirt, there'll be a pin, and it's usually some other stuff. It's an amazing amount of stuff you get in there. It's very high quality. Even though the price is very high, it's usually pretty, pretty awesome. I have written down the theme for this somewhere because I had to research everything that was in it. And I can't remember for the life of me where I put that paper. So I'll cut this open try and find that so I have some sort of idea what I'm going on about. Right, let's grab some items and the first thing we want to grab will be the t-shirt. Oh, a lot of random stuff in there. Ooh, it's a big box. A lot of stuff in here. But let's get the t-shirt. So first things first, the t-shirt will ooh, get it out of this before it destroys your ears with this horrible, horrible sound. I've no idea. I have no earthly clue. I couldn't find the paper because I wrote down what the franchises that are in this box were. It's a woman looking sort of seductive with a bandage over her breasts, wielding a sword with some sort of flames like a demon. I don't know. That's a very nice t-shirt. This t-shirt is actually really, really high quality. The image is very good. I do worry though, because the images are a bit glossy, which usually means it could start to fade and sort of come apart in the wash. So it may not last that long. It is a very nice t-shirt though. I don't know the franchise, which is annoying me, so you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. That may be a running theme throughout this box. But you know what? I'm gonna give it an up because it's a nice t-shirt and t-shirts, as always, about a tenner. One slight note, at the bottom of the t-shirt, it does tell you this is number 289 of 310 because Lutaku is a limited box. There's only a certain amount each month and they do sell out very, very quickly. Let's go for item two, which is jangling and feels rather big. Item two is a sword. I don't know what it's a sword from. Is it bleach or something like that? It looks like it should be from bleach. It's a sword. It's a makeshift sword. We've had many of these before. They always look awesome. So let's get this out of the box and have a look. Zinru Jingpin. I don't know what that means, but the sword is stunning. Like that's really, really nice. These are made out of metal. The actual sword itself looks superb. The Oh, sheath? It's a sheath, isn't it? The sheath is what the sword goes into. The sheath is very nice. It's white, which is going to show up there, so make sure you keep it dusted. I love the tassel that you put on the end. That's very cool. Also, this appears to be a key ring, which is a bit worrying because you probably shouldn't be carrying around a sword as a key ring. In fact, you probably get arrested if you're carrying this around because it could be a lethal weapon. Still on display, that is a very, very nice item. I don't know what it's from. But I do like these swords. I actually almost bought a sword the other year because I'm weird and I quite like the look of swords. I think they look nice on display. Intention creation, happy peer. Is what it says on the back. I don't know what that means. I don't know where it's from, but it is exceptionally nice. Anyway, this is probably like a tenner up, probably more than that. That's an exceptionally good item. That is getting it up. The t-shirt also gets it up. Two ups, good start. Just realized my dress is here, so I'm gonna have to blur this out in the video. That's gonna be fun to do. Anyway, the next item, there is a big box. There is a very, very, very small box. Let's see what that is. The ever so tiny box is... Oh, once again, no idea. It seems to be a little dude sleeping or just woken up. So let's get that out of the box and have a look at that. So I don't know who this is. It's kind of cute. It's very, very small. I don't know what anime or manga this is from. Oh, I wish I could find the thing. I wrote all stuff down, but I lost them. Note to self, make a note of franchises, keep them somewhere safe. Anyway, it's very, very small. This is probably like a fiver. It's a nice little item. I don't know who this dude is. He looks like someone I've seen before in Demon Slayer or something like that. Oh, I could be wrong. We had a statue the other month. He looks similar to that, but he's just waking up and yawning. It's nice detail. It's nice color. 
It's a very simple item, nothing to write home about. You know what, I kind of like it in a weird little way. Not the most amazing item, but it's okay. I don't expect everything in the box to be fantastic. I'm still giving it up because it's kind of cute and I kind of like it. I also happen to be losing my voice during this video, so this could be fun. Right, fourth item we have. Ooh, fourth item is a pin badge. So let's have a look at that. Ah, it says Demon Slayer. Oh, maybe I was right. Maybe that last thing was from Demon Slayer. Maybe the sword was from Demon Slayer as well. This is a woman who's a part demon. I think this is the main character's sister who ends up turning into a demon and he's trying to stop her from becoming a full demon. It's quite interesting. I only saw, I only saw, I only read a little bit about it. And people were like, you should watch it. It's very good. Or you should read it. It's very good. One of the two. I love their pins. They're very heavy massively detailed and they are proper metal. You can see all the weird cuts on it. It's a terrifying kind of image. Her hair looks awesome. Love the use of color on that. That's a fantastic pins and the pins are like five to 10 quid usually. These are pretty awesome things. I very much like that. I think it's an awesome pin. I'm gonna give it an up. I'm giving everything an up today. I'm in a very good mood. So yeah, that gets an up. That's an awesome pin. Even if you didn't know the franchise, it looks very cool. Item five, I think, is the final item. Let's see what we have. And the fifth item is, ooh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. You cannot redo. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion is, oh, there's people, they control giant mechs, they're like connected brain-wise. One goes nuts. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I remember one going sentient, crazy. Anyway, just look up Neon Genesis Evangelion. You'll learn more than I can remember. I'm losing my voice. Let's have a look at the statue because the statue looks very awesome. It is a Sega statue, which makes a change because usually it is a Ban Presto statue, but the statue itself looks really, really nice. I don't know who this is. It's got an eye patch. That doesn't tell me anything. Very stylized figure. Obviously, women do not look like this. Just in case you never know and you haven't been outside or seen a picture of a lady, they don't tend to look like this. Anyway, it's very cool. It's very nicely painted. I love the design. I love the stance. It's a very weird way to stand though. One leg sort of bent and her hips almost completely twisted in the wrong direction. Is that even humanly possible? I have no idea. Very nicely done. I love the hair. It's very cool. It is very Neon Genesis style. I don't know the character. I just know it's from Neon Genesis Evangelion. It says Evangelion 3.0. I don't know. Please help me. Help. I can't remember who this is. Anyway, that's an awesome statue. This has been the most random unboxing ever. It's basically me going, don't know what it is. Well, there you go. Anyway, that's very cool. That's 10, 15, maybe even 20 quid, which is fantastic value. I love it. I might put it on display or maybe I'll give it to someone I know who likes this kind of stuff. That was the Lutaku box. Let's see everything we just had, which should be interesting because I can't remember anything from any franchise. Scary half woman naked demon sword lady t-shirt. Possible demon slayer guy waking up out of bed? Is it bleach? Is it someone else? I don't know, but it's a sword. Demon slayer lady, demon person, woman, demon, pin. And the Evangelion 3.0 statue. That wasn't the best review I've ever done, simply because I forgot what every single franchise was, but that's really good. Every one of those items for me is good, so that's five ups. The box is $44.99, which is very, very expensive for me. That's a down. I haven't had any charges on the boxes, so that's not bad. I'm just gonna say for an expensive box, I've gotta give it at least one down, but that's still five ups. That's fantastic. Let me know what franchises these are from. Maybe next time I'll get the research and I'll keep it to one side. So at least I'll have an idea of what the franchises are. If you wanna grab your own box, there are links, discounts, all of that down below in the description as always. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications if that's the kind of thing that you wanna do. As always, you can find me everywhere at Jar Warlock, literally everywhere, just put at Jar Warlock, you'll find me some. In the meantime though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Citizens are advised to take...